Uniting Church has a genuine and long-standing commitment to care for the most vulnerable members of our community. We are one of the largest and longest serving providers of aged care in the state, accommodating more than 3,000 South Australians in a range of agencies, including Clayton Church Homes, Elder Care, Helping Hand, Rest Haven and Uniting Care Wesley. We also care for many more thousands of South Australians in their own homes. People in the aged care sector are committed to providing quality care and services, and they are doing a tremendous job. Unless you've recently had the experience of needing to access aged care for a loved one, you would be unaware of the increasing pressure on our aged care system. People who desperately need aged care are being turned away. Numerous government and independent expert reports are pointing to the need for significant changes, but it seems that no one is listening. The situation is complex, but critical. We believe that everyone deserves access to appropriate aged care when and where they need it. No one should be denied access to care because of their financial circumstances. Access should be based on need. Right now we have the greatest proportion of people over 65 in the country and by 2050 one in four Australians will be over 65. We should be planning and building now in preparation for increased demand in the future. Everyone's needs are different and therefore their ability to access different services at different times in their lives is critical. A range of care options need to be available, not only in people's homes but also in residential care facilities. Currently, many people are eligible but unable to access aged care. Current delays compromise the quality of life of the elderly at a time when they're least able to do anything about it. We need to ask the question, is access to aged care a right or a privilege? Aged care should be available when it is needed. Whether you live in metropolitan Adelaide, in rural or remote South Australia, you should be able to access care. It is not helpful to be offered a place in Adelaide if you and your support networks live in the country and vice versa. Care should be available where it's needed. Caring for the older members of our community is something that we should all be concerned about. One of my school friends just went through this with her grandma who is almost completely blind. They live a long way apart and it was very difficult to get help for her and this was stressful for the whole family. In this particular circumstance, it took months for her to be able to access aged care and she became depressed and socially isolated. Just last month, her grand found a place in care and she's transformed. She interacts with other residents and undertakes activities and trips out and about. She's happy again and so is her family. Aged care is something that everyone deserves. I was in, at home until I was 94 and I was in a lot of pain for about 18 months <clears throat> being treated for sciatica. It turned out it was my hip that needed replacing. And so I decided one day that I just couldn't stay there any longer. So we had to get, do all the things you have to do to try to get into care. And my daughter had to apply to about six different places and, and then we had to go and see which ones we sort of would think would be the best. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing how much information you have to give everybody and, you know, regardless of whether you're going to go there or not. The Uniting Church's aged care providers believe that caring for the most vulnerable members of the community is part of their mission. This is becoming increasingly difficult because the actual cost of providing appropriate care significantly exceeds the funding available for each resident. They simply cannot afford to cover the increasing gap between the government's subsidies and what it costs to provide a bed, care and support to a resident. When even one person who desperately needs care is unable to access it, that is a crisis for that person and we should all be concerned. It's time to act. On Sunday the 8th of November, we are asking you to join us as we go for justice at the Go For Justice rally in Adelaide City. We'll be gathering from 1pm at the Festival Centre Plaza. Come on your gopher or on foot and help us let our city and our government know that we care. This is your chance to help us call for change. Come along and show that the Uniting Church values older people. Please come and join us.